Man, people need to stop it. They need to stop it ASAP. All this talk about how we should have um having these fights without having um crowds and how could they can do this or having any kind of events uh without any crowds. People need to cut that out. I understand people want to see, you know, these events, they want to see basketball events, they want to see boxing events, they want to see all these different sporting events, but at the end of the day we're talking about people's lives. So people need to get off that shit. Watch Netflix or something. Watch some freaking movies. Um, do whatever, go work out, do some lifting, some sprinting, some jogging, walk around the block, something. But the hundred percent, the one thing that we should not be doing is sending these athletes anywhere. People keep talking about these athletes fighting and, you know what I'm saying? And, and, um, fighting and, you know, fighting in, um, in places where there's no one except, I guess, with, without any crowds and how that minimizes the chances of people, um, uh, I guess getting sick or whatever, but the athletes can get still get sick. You're still putting the athletes into a position in danger where they can get sick. You know, you, at the end of the day, these athletes still have teams that they need to work with. So you're putting these teams in danger. These teams need to go get the supplies they need, whether it be water, whether it be food, whether it be gear, whatever it is. So whatever the supply chain is now to get these particular people, you know, the, the people, their stuff. Now, guess what they got to do? Those people got to come into work to make the custom gloves, to make the, sh you know, to make the, the undershorts, to make the shorts, to, you know, to get the, the shoes, the socks, whatever all these guys use. You got to get, now all those people also have to work. You know, the people who are doing the event, uh, you need cameramen, right? You're going to need cameramen, right? The, 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 wherever the event's being held, you know, the venue, you're going to have to have people work the venue. You're going to have to. The, 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 the two boxers aren't opening up the venue. The basketball players aren't opening up the venue. The UFC MMA fighters aren't opening up the venue. Now these other people also have to come there in there now to open up those particular venues, to get the chairs all set up, to get the whatever they're putting up, a ring put up or whatever it is. That's even more people now that are coming in contact with each other. You know what I mean? They have to get to these destinations, right? This is not the jet, you know, the Jetson shit. This isn't Star Trek. We can't just walk into something, press a button, and, doo -doo 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 -doo, and teleport to the to these particular places. We can't do that. You know what I'm saying? We can't do that. And I know a lot of people, because a lot of people are talking about this. Like everybody, you know, obviously in boxing is talking about it, and a lot of other people in like in MMA are talking about it. My friend was talking about how, oh, it's not that it should be safe. It's just a couple of them and they want to fight. They want to fight. They should be allowed to fight. Blah, 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 blah. All this BS. And I'm like, no, they shouldn't be allowed to fight. You know what I'm saying? Dana White should be looking out for those athletes' best interests and the people around them's best interests. You know, these people have to, you know, they got to train. Okay, so now if they're training also, guess what? Right. You got the, your crew around you. Now you and your crew now have to go back to their freaking families. You know what I mean? When they go to those airports, it doesn't matter if it's a regular airport, if it's a private, if they're using a private plane, it doesn't matter. You're still around the pilots. You're still around the stewardesses. You're still around the freaking, what do you call it? The, the, somebody has to operate those mother effing airports. So you're still going around that people. You're having exposure around an ish load of people. You're having exposure around an ish load of stuff that you're touching. This virus stays on things for two, three days, sometimes even longer. Sometimes it could be in certain surfaces, it can stay on it for seven days. And you're touching these things. You're in planes where the air is being circulated in there. So y'all just, everybody in there is just breathing in the same freaking air. You know what I mean? You got to keep them in somewhere. You got to keep them, whether, whether it be in hotels, whether it be in um, a, B, a, B, R, and B, whatever you call it, those type of things. Somebody else was over there also. Somebody had to set that up. Somebody had to open it up. Somebody had to get it ready for you. So now those people are also in there. Those people are breathing in there. Those people are touching things. And then these athletes are also coming and touching all these things. It's not clear cut. It's not it's not no Jetson things where you, you're from one spot boop, to the event and you're fighting along the way to that particular event. You're going to be around dozens, if not hundreds of people where you can get this particular virus, 
these athletes could have these viruses. The people around them could have these freaking viruses because they have contact with other people on a regular basis. And those people have contact with a whole bunch of other people probably on a regular basis. So you're giving even more and more chances of things happening. Now these athletes get these viruses and they end up not making it because even healthy people cannot make it through this. Okay, this this bad assumption people keep making that, oh, you just either you're really, really old or you're really, really young or because you could have conditions that you don't know about. You know, you could have conditions that you don't know about. Now, people who have just been perfectly healthy that just have died. This thing gets a hold of you. It's your ass. That's it. It gets a hold of you. You could just be done. You know, you could be done. You could just be weakened from, you know, hardcore training or whatever. Your body is just physically just 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 exhausted. It could be anything. You could already been have some kind of light sickness, whatever. Then you get hit with it. anything. You don't know. You don't know. So now these athletes could get it. They could give it to the, 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 um, the other people around them. They could end up giving it to their families. They can end up giving it to their kids. They could end up giving it to their grandparents. Since we're going to talk about the young and the old, they have grandparents that they're around. You know what I'm saying? They could give it to their spouses. You know, dude might be super in shape, but his spouse might not be. It's might, you know, his spouse might be on the heavy side. You know, Terrence Crawford's in shape like as hell. His wife is not in shape. She's a beautiful person, nothing negative to say about her, but she being African American and being overweight like that, she's predisposed her to not making it through this. And she gets it real bad. You know, she has a double whammy that's going against her. She's basically perfectly set up to not make it if she gets something like that. So now you're putting him into a situation where now he can get his wife sick, whether he, though, even though he doesn't, he thinks it's a propaganda and all this stuff, and he's brushing off the, the whole situation. The reality is he would still be putting his wife and he'll be putting his young kids in danger by them having this particular fight. You do it. That's, that's what you're basically doing. There's no point in doing this. There's too many people that, you know, that are going to be having contact with each other before this particular fight happens. And then after this fight's over, there's going to be a whole bunch of other people who are going to have contact with each other. Somebody could have no temperature because you can have this and have no symptoms. You can have no symptoms, no high, no high temperature, nothing. And then one of those athletes has that. And then he ends up giving it to his team. He ends up giving it to the other team. Because when they're coming in there and they're checking gloves and all this other stuff, whatever, he gives it to the ref. He gives it to, and we don't know where the hell the ref has been, who he's been hanging out with, what he's been doing. We don't know that. You know, and then all of a sudden, now this, you know, him not, ha you know, him not having, maybe not having symptoms, thinking he's fine, or one of these two athletes having what symptoms, not having symptoms and thinking they're fine, them end up giving it to the other athlete or to the freaking ref. And then they take it to the next people and then to the next people, next, next people. And somebody ends up in a coffin. Is it really worth it? It's not freaking worth it, man. Okay? We've been watching sports our whole lives. We have the rest of our effing lives to watch sports. You know what I'm saying? Think about people's freaking lives. And then what? These people are sick. Then we got to now take these people to the hospital, to these freaking nurses and doctors who are risking their effing lives every freaking day, trying to keep, you know, keep as many of us afloat and alive as much as they can, putting themselves into a space where they could not make it or they could end up getting something taken to their kids or to their spouses or their parents and them not making it. Also, we can be entertained, right? And so those mother efforts over there can make money. They can sit back, chill while these athletes fight, and they make a boatload of money off these, off these kids. That's, that's what we're doing it for? It's stupid, man. It's asinine and it's idiotic, man. We, got, we can do it later. Everybody sit back, chill, relax. You know what I'm saying? Fucking relax for two freaking three fucking months, man. It's not that serious. You know what I'm saying? Just do that so we can... Potentially save people's lives. Not only those athletes, not only their families, but also those people who are busting their freaking ass every goddamn day, working crazy hours without the proper equipment that they need, by the way, putting their lives on the line on a freaking regular basis for us. You know what I'm saying? So they can have less people, you know, that, that come over there and they can have a lesser chance of them freaking dying with the work that they're doing for BS pay. If you look at it with what they're risking right now. OK, so chill. F all this. No crowd BS. This no crowd bullshit. Forget about these freaking sports for a while. All right. It's a blimp. It's a little dot in fucking history. 
And let's think about these people's lives that are a whole lot more important than the bullshit we're trying to watch. Like, subscribe, share. I'm out.